Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today, today we are taking a look at the Blue 3 uh, Authentic Tone Wheel Organ Emulation by GG Films. It's remarkably good. Comes in at around 83 meg. In size. Before I start, I would like to give a big shout out to two people two people first person is nino beats a guy who tirelessly promotes promotes ios music and ios musicians and he hooked me up with blue three thanks nino top guy and also i'd like to give a big shout out to my mate dave leonelli as well dave Leonelli is, uh, well, he, he's a genius. He's a genius, especially when it comes to uh, vintage tone wheel organs and stuff like that and any vintage gear. Brilliant bass player, brilliant keyboard player. And I know Dave will be uh, doing a probably a really in-depth review of this. You get tons of stuff. So for me... I'm just going to play a load of these patches, but I'm also going to have a mess around with the sound and stuff like that, you know. Um, see if it's something that you guys would like. Cost of this is £29.99p or $29.99p. Listen to the depth. Okay, so we have four pages. We have perform page. Now, you also have lower manual, uh, upper manual. So we've got upper here. Then we have pedals. Now, pedals is our MIDI channel three. I'll just swap my MIDI channel over on the keyboard. back to my MIDI channel one and then we also have our lower our lower case manual as well so which if we're on upper we're not going to hear. So if you've got three keyboards or a three-way split keyboard, you're good to go. Right, we have here reverb. Pre and post. You have your output. Ambience, I'm guessing that's like room ambience. Volume. Expression control, EQ, mid and low. You also have your vibrato, vibrato swell, vibrato, great. And you also have your uh, your vibrato and choruses. Up. Then you have your rotary speaker control, which is controlled also by the mod wheel. So center mod wheel is off. Lower mod wheel, slow. And upper mod wheel fast. If we go to our cabinet controls here, now they also do another app called Spin. And Spin is will sit in your AUV effect slot as a rotary speaker, very similar to this, it looks as well. So we will be taking a look at that in another video. You can position the microphones. If you look here, there's two little microphones. We can uh, 
and then balance as well and then the type and that's, that's like the placement then you have the cabinet here so uh, di so no cabinet at all uh, custom cabinet here A 122, an RA200, a 147 and a 412. And then you have your rotor position speeds for your horn rotor and your bass rotor. Okay, cool beans. Advanced now. Tone wheel set, we have different sets, so. Tone wheel levels, you can see here. Key click control. Very nice. I'm sure Dave Dave's gonna love all this. Draw bar adjustments. This is super interesting, right? Let's go back to our platform and let's pull out all the stops here for all the draw bars for our upper manual. Uh, oh, by the way, on this page, you also have tube overdrive. But listen. Like you've got a mix for your tone, uh, for your draw bars. This is your adjustments for your uh, vibrato and chorus. Fall back on and off pedals. We're not using pedals. Percussion adjustment. Paradise setting. And then you have general settings where you can set up your MIDI controllers here. You can have your upper, lower um, and pedals and transpose them either or. And, and you can also change the MIDI channel, of course. Like I said, it, it defaults to middle channel one, two and three. Pedal mode is monophonic. You can set that to polyphonic or polymono on release. Contact timing, pitch bend range, like well, you really have a pitch bend on an organ, but you can set the pitch bend range here. I would say normally it would be two semitones for me if I was. Wouldn't really normally use a percussion on, on all registrations, so that's kind of what you want. Well, depending on what you want, actually. I think GG Films have done a remarkable job here. Absolutely remarkable. Right. The general chit-chat is over. So let's have a listen to some of the presets. 
you get uh, organized in categories here. So you've got favorites, you've got rock, jazz, gospel, contributions. I'm going to turn the microphone down and play you some of these so you can get an idea. And that, guys, will be that. So awesome stuff. I will put a link in the description for the Blue 3. absolutely beautiful right okay here we go oh by the way if you like the video please strike the like subscribe if you're not subscribed consider becoming a patreon and i will see you guys later Ta-da! i'm gonna play loads of these now so
Actually, do you know what? A really nice touch here I've just noticed in settings as well, um, or in, in advanced. Well, I, was it in settings or advanced? Um, let's see. Yeah. Um, somewhere in this. Oh, in the preset browser, sorry. Uh, where you can, you know, rename your presets. Make startup. That's, that's really, really good, that is, to be able to make a patch your startup patch so that when you open and close the instrument, it comes back to your preset that you have chosen. That's really a really nice touch. I wish more synths would do that. <laughs> Guys, there you go. I think Blue 3 is bloody lovely. I really do. It has that really, really vintage feel. <laughs> Of the classic organ, it's emulating, of course. Top job. Cool beans. I'll see you later. Ta-da.